Hello friends. Welcome to Crafty Crone Corner. I'm Willie and I have a Timu problem. <laughs> Welcome to what may or may not be a limited series probably not so limited, uh, that I'm referred to as Tuesday Timu 12-step program. Uh, I'm not recording this on a Tuesday, but I plan to upload it on the next Tuesday that will come in uh, the calendar. That will be Independence Day, July 4th. So happy Independence Day to my fellow Americans. Uh, I have a four-day weekend for Independence Day and uh, I so far I'm doing a lot of diamond painting. This is my latest Timu order. Well, the latest one to arrive. I have two more orders placed. I watched some Timu hauls today there will be things going into my cart before the day is over. <laughs> and I have two smaller orders that I combined to record another video, which have, has not been recorded yet. So obviously I have a problem. <laughs> but, but everything on Timu is so inexpensive that it's really hard to say no to it. Um, Watching the haul videos it is just, you know, if I need to cut myself off, I need to stop watching Timu videos. <laughs> um, especially Trisha at Diamond Painting with Sweet Tea because I I'm find more and more that her tastes in things are very similar to my own. So three or four times out of five when she shows something, I'm, I want that too. <laughs> So here's the latest order. It's not a large one. I'm trying to keep them small for budgetary purposes. Uh, so let me show you what I got. Um, all but one item, I believe. No, well, one and a half, one, one and a half maybe. Uh, one could be diamond painting related, but everything else is diamond painting related. So this is the first thing. It came wrapped up in this bubble mailer like this. And it doesn't actually say on it what it is, so let me show you. I'm trying different types of sealers. So this is one that I found on Timu. Sun... Suntan Glue <laughs> Diamond Painting Sealer. It says, hold gloss, quick drying, multi-purpose, all-in-one sealer, non-toxic and, <laughs> non and safe, four ounces. Apparently, they also sell on Amazon. So I may look on Amazon and see if I really got a bargain. Um, if there are... Items still in stock. I will put links and prices in the description box. This came with this, it, it, it's shaped like a brush, but it's more like a spatula. So that I'll use that to apply it. So we've got sealer. This is definitely a non-diamond painting item. I love kitty cats. I love books. I love black kitty cats. My parents had a black kitty cat. I referred to her as the ancient and venerable kitty because she lived to the ripe old age of 22. Um, these are little bookmarks. Can she figure out how to open them? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi, I'm Willie. This is the struggle bus to the Timu 12-step meeting. Okay, here we go. They are magnetic. Do I have a piece of paper handy? Yeah, here we go. You can use this on your, your book to hold your page. 
little black kitty. Hopefully I'm getting all of this in order. It's late in the day and I'm not standing up to watch through the, <laughs> the camera. And I, are there six different ones? Let's see. There's one, there's two, there's three. Oh, this one's just looking at us with one eye. Oh, that's not a happy kitty. Yeah, these are all different. So we've got six little magnetic black kitty bookmarks. I read a lot and I often read more than one book at a time. So I thought that would be cute. This is the item that could be diamond painting related. I got these because I never have enough scissors around. I, I have multiple pairs of scissors, but I can never find them. And I, I thought these were really cute. They're actually larger than I thought they would be. All right, I'm standing up. I said I wasn't going to, but here we go. They have a little plastic sheath on them because they're very stabby. Very, very stabby. You could easily put somebody's eye out, shank somebody for fun and profit. But they have that sort of rainbow effect and a sort of old-timey pattern. Again, these are larger than I thought they would be. I thought they would be more snip size, you know, sort of embroidery type scissors. But I thought those were very cute. Uh, the next thing, this is not how it looked on the Team Who website. They showed a roll of stickers. These are going to be very handy for kitting up. I apologize for the crinkly noises, but they are going to be really handy for kitting up. Wow, they're really wrapped in there. <laughs> but this is um, apparently a thousand labels. So again, very handy for diamond painting. And then I've got two kits with this order. Uh, the first one comes with pre-bagged drills. My absolute favorite. I love me some pre-bag drills because I hate kidding up. I know a lot of people love kidding up, not this girl. Okay, this is a basically fairly standard toolkit, except it has some little plastic baggies in it. Pink pen, green, row, row, row your boat, square of wax. Okay, let's turn this over and see what it is. It is a hot mess. Okay, I mean, look at that. It's a hot mess. Oh, and look at that. It's got schmutz on it. Oh, I, I have this issue with a Star Wars canvas that I got recently. I don't, uh, well, maybe those are those the, is, yeah, well, no, I, it's actually supposed to be like that. Oi, can you see the little, little dark patch there on the, uh, Thumbnail, hold up. I'm like rubbing it with my thumbnail and I can't remember the name of the word. <laughs> Speaking of hot messes, hi, I'm Willie. Have you met me yet? <laughs> there, there are 21 colors, which is not bad for a 30 by 30. This is a rendering of Van Gogh's Starry Night in a heart shape. I love Starry Night. It's my favorite work of art. I have quite a little collection of Starry Night themed uh, diamond paintings. I'm not real crazy about it. It has training wheels or guide circles, depending on how cool you are. Most people are referring to them as guide circles. I think these days I still think of them as training wheels, but it's got lots of pretty blues and grays in it. If you like multi-placing, this is heaven. I don't tend to like multi-placing. I, I will do, I have learned to make peace with a four-placer, so I may do some multi-placing on that. It depends on how I'm feeling at the moment. 
I like this image so much, I bought two of them. There's one in one of those earlier orders that I, I was talking about. <laughs> Um, I do have a purpose for this. Um, stay tuned to the channel and you will find out what that is at some point. But again, I love Starry Night. I tend to order almost everything I see with Starry Night. So that's, these are the drills for that one. No, these are the drills for the other one. So let me put that aside. Okay, and the last one, um, I blame Sweet Tea. For this because I believe she's the one I saw unbag this one. Looking at the drills. This. We actually have a, an inventory sheet. This is our image. Look at the tuxedo kitty. Oh, let me flip this over. We, we've got our fairly typical toolkit except this does have some plastic baggies. Oh, and a larger plate of wax, probably because this is a slightly larger diamond painting. This is a 30 by 40. Look at the kitty. I believe um, Trisha at Sweet Tea called this Ivy Cat or Cat with Ivy, something like that. Isn't it gorgeous? I want to pet the kitty. I want to give him little scritches behind the ears. This is a 30 by 40. It has training wheels. But hopefully the drills will fit so that you won't see the training wheels. This has 24 colors. And I believe these are all alphabet. So it is not alphanumeric, it is alphabetical. Look at the pink nose. But yeah, like I said, um, Sweet Tea has tastes that are very similar to mine. She also loves kitties. So, Trisha, thank you. This one is your fault, and I, I, you have my eternal gratitude for it. So I can't wait to work on him. I don't think I have any events coming up where I would definitely pull him, her, they, <laughs> from my stash but I think that's just gonna be adorable so friends tell me would you like to join my Tuesday Timu 12-step program are you also in need of a support group to facilitate your purchase of Timu paintings and accessories feel free to join me click that subscribe button click the like button Leave me a comment. Tell me, are, are, are you a Timu person? Which of these items were, was your favorite? Tell me your experience with Timu diamond paintings. I finished, I think, one of my Timu paintings so far. And it was a partial. It was a rooster. Um, I, I did a completion video not too long ago. That was, I finished it in May for... Um, Hashtag barn life, barn life 23, barn life 23. So tell me which one is your favorite. And remember, if you have a YouTube channel, tell me about it in the, the comments so I can come and visit you and give you some love. So for now, stay well, stay healthy. Try to find time every single day to do a little bit of something that makes you happy. Diamond painting is really good for your mental health. It really is. It really helps me with my anxiety and my depression. And it gives you a creative outlet. Even if you're not the kind of person who has a talent for drawing or painting, this is something you can do to create a work of art, which is one of the reasons that I love it. My stick figures look sickly, okay? I can't draw or paint to save my life. I tried adult coloring. Ever since I was in kindergarten, I don't do so well with coloring inside the lines. It, it hasn't gotten any better over the decades. <laughs> so again, please like, comment, subscribe, share. Feel free to join my 12-step group. I don't know that I'm actually going to stop my Timu addiction. 
because I've got all y'all out there facilitating it. But for now, friends, thanks for joining me. I hope to see you soon. Until the next time, Willie out. Bye-bye.